Good morning, Falcons. I'm Courtney. And I'm Maddie. We have a spooky show coming up for you today. There's entertainment, keeping up with Casper, sports announcements, ASB update, and a special Halloween PSA. And Falcon TV starts right now. Welcome back to another great show, Falcons. Have you watched any great movies lately? I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus this weekend because I've heard it's trending. That sounds entertaining. Let's find out what else is trending. Hey, Samantha, did you know that Taylor Swift's 1989 Taylor's version comes out today? No, really? That's cool. It really is. I'm so excited. She added like five new songs. Wow. Also, did you know about all the new TV shows and movies? No, which ones? Some like Big City Greens and Theme Song Takeover are getting new seasons. So is Running Wild with Bear Grylls, the new challenge. Ending October with some surprisingly not so spooky movies, Hocus Pocus 3 and the Disney Movie Wish are releasing. Ooh, and some spooky movies are coming out too. The Elderly is releasing soon. Did you ever realize that like all horror movies start with the? Anyways. Did you know that today is Black Cat Day? Really? Yeah, there's all sorts of holidays that most people don't celebrate. Oh yeah, I've heard about some of them. Like, Make a Difference Day is tomorrow. Well, we all know the big holiday is coming up. Yeah, I've seen a lot of creepy Halloween decorations. I think that the costumes are cooler. Let's see what some of the Falcons are dressing up as for Halloween. Hey Falcons, Casper Schofield here. Let's see what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween. What are you going as for Halloween? Batman. Aww. What are you going to be for Halloween? Ariel. What are you being for Halloween? Uh, I'm being Taylor Swift in the 22 music video. <laughs> yeah. What are you being for Halloween? I don't know. I'm not going to be anything. Well, Falcon, your costumes sound pretty cool. Now back to the Yankees. I love everyone's Halloween costumes. What are you being for Halloween, Courtney? I'm being a Gatorade bottle, but my costume isn't done yet. That sounds so funny. Yeah, I hope it won't be cold, though. Let's see what the weather is. Hello, Falcons. We're here with your weekly weather report. Today is supposed to be 69 degrees as the high of fog. And it'll be warmest around the middle of the day at 12. I really enjoyed this cool weather recently. Me too. This weekend, it'll be perfect temperature, with Saturday having a high of 69 degrees and Sunday having a high of 70 degrees. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it sure does. Now for this week, sir. At Ponto, the waves will get up to four feet. That sounds pretty nice. Also, in Tamarack, the waves will get about three feet, as well as Tamar. Wow. At Carlsbad State Beach, the waves are going to be also about three feet. Swalmies will get about five feet. And finally, Oceanside Pier will all get up to three to four feet. We're up for some really good waves. I can't wait. However, we always need to consider what's going on outside of California. You're right. Not long ago, more than 2,400 people were killed by earthquakes in Afghanistan. The quakes took place west of the country and destroyed many towns. The earthquake was a magnitude 6.5 earthquake that devastated Pakistan and his, a historical region. However, people managed to stay safe and are working on repairing the city. That's good. Now back to the anchors. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan and Olivia. How is volleyball going? Have you had any games recently? Yeah, yesterday we took the dub. So proud. Let's see how other sports are doing. Welcome back to the Sports Update, Falcons. We've got quite a spooky show for you this week. So let's hop right into it. Starting in the realm of baseball, the Texas Rangers have slain the Houston Astros in the ALCS and are advancing to the World Series. In the NLCS, the Diamondbacks have defeated their opponents, the Astros, and will face Texas in the World Series. In football news, we got some riveting games coming up on Sunday. That's right, Michael. On Sunday, the Buccaneers are playing the Bills, the Vikings are facing off against the Packers, and the Colts are playing the Saints. All right, now let's jump to the ice for some NHL action. The game I'm most hyped for is the Buffalo Sabres playing the New Jersey Devils. Those are two good teams. Should be a close game. Right. Also, the Minnesota Wild are playing the Washington Capitals in D.C. Can't wait for that one. Let's jump to some college football games. And Michael, there's some real great ones coming out tomorrow. Right you are, Dylan. To begin, the number eight ranked Oregon Ducks head to face the number 13th ranked Utah Utes. Top ranked Georgia heads to the Swamp for a major SEC matchup against the Florida Gators. And Deion Sanders Buffaloes play the number 23 UCLA Bruins. College football is fun, but now let's head to a different type of field. For the fans of La Liga, Barcelona and Real Madrid will face off in the first Clasico of the season, which will be taking place Saturday morning at 7.15. Real Madrid's got that one easy. They have the most broken midfield in the world. Whatever, man. Real Madrid knocked out Chelsea in the Champions League, so I'm going for Barca. Chelsea's trash they bottled against Arsenal in the game we mentioned last time. 
Anyway, speaking of Clásicos, Manchester United and Manchester City will face off in a Manchester derby Sunday morning at 8.30. United haven't been performing recently, so I think that City is going to bring home the duck. I agree. I need them to beat United so Chelsea can pass them on the table. For the NBA fans out there, some of the hottest teams are playing today. The Heat play the Celtics. And the Sacramento Kings are playing the Golden State Warriors. That's it for the sports update. Now back... <laughs> A lot is going on in the sports world. Have you heard about some scary Halloween horror stories? Yeah, they're insane. Let's see how to prevent them. This Halloween, always make sure you're with the group and never go alone. Never eat a piece of candy that has either been found on the ground, looks suspicious, or has been opened. If someone asks you to come inside their house this Halloween, say no because there's a 90% chance you will get kidnapped. Trick or treat. Come on in and I'll give you a piece of candy. Okay. Trick or treat. Come on in and I'll give you a piece of candy. <laughs> hey, that was us. Yeah. Make sure to keep that information in your mind for this Tuesday. And don't forget to wear Halloween costumes to school next week. Now let's go to announcements for some more information. Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Gunner with your weekly announcements. Next Tuesday is Halloween. You can wear your Halloween costumes as long as it follows the dress code. That means no weapons, no blood, or full face masks. Now to Ashley with the ASB update. Oh! Thanks, Gunner. Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm here with... Savvy. And... Ava. So, what's going on next week? Well, first of all, we just want to thank you all for participating in our Red Ribbon Spirit Week, and we love to see what you guys come up with. But also, next Tuesday is Halloween, so show up in your costume or in Halloween colors. That sounds so much fun. Anything else? On November 31st, we will have a food drive. The advisory that collects the most food in cans gets a class party. Sounds like we're going to have a great next week. Now, back to the... Ah! Where'd they all go? I don't know. What was that? 